Hi, everyone. Welcome. I know I'm a few minutes early, but I'd, I'd uh, rather just be a few minutes early than late. But um, it's going to be a short, quick live. I just thought I'd come on and let y'all know what has been going on. I know some of y'all have seen uh, the comment in the chat earlier today when I was supposed to go live. So uh, I also made a community tab post. All right, welcome everyone to a late and short pop-up live chat Tuesday. Um, welcome in everybody. Uh, thank you so much, Ganny Joe, for the super, and it says sending continued prayers for Patricia. We greatly appreciate it. Um, I actually had my chair set up. Now what happened was I was getting ready for my live and my grandmother has not been feeling well for the last week. She's been suffering with abdominal pain. I'm not going to go in depth on the details, but because that was her wish, don't don't say a whole bunch. But she is okay. Um, we had to go out of town because of the hospital here where we live is a very crappy hospital. Nobody likes that place. Um, so we went to that hospital and, um, the one out of town and the doctors did blood work and urine and everything was okay. But the doctor there said, do you feel well enough to go home? She goes, no, she wants to know what's going on. So most likely tomorrow they are going to do an MRI, um, and find out because she, woke me up Monday morning at two in the morning and I took her to St. Luke's emergency clinic. And uh, she was there. I, I came back home, rested for about two hours, got the call to go pick her up about five in the morning, came home and went to sleep, woke back up at almost eight something, got ready, took my aunt to an eye appointment. And it happened so quick. I mean, I I slept from 5 p.m. last night, well, 5.30 p.m. to about 9.40 and then went back to sleep about 2 in, in the morning. So, and I was getting ready for my live this morning and she said, I need you to take me to the hospital. So I, I canceled everything and she told me to come home because there's no use in me waiting around at the hospital. So. Here I am on the pop-up live for tonight. Um, I just thought I'd let y'all know what was going on. Instead of making a recorded video, just go ahead and do a little live. But welcome in everyone. Thank you so much for the continued prayers and the prayers for my grandmother. Uh, I, I'm sorry that I scared you, Ganny Joe. Yes, and I need to write your super. Uh, and my aunt was scared, but she's okay. She's in the other room watching TV. Me and her are gonna, we've been watching, what is it? Stephen King's, it's a three part series, Rose Red. They just put it on Hulu. We're gonna go finish that up after the live. Um, I'm not gonna be on very long, just a few minutes. I just wanted to make an appearance and let y'all know everything's okay. Uh, and I did do my hair a different, it looks blue. It's not blue. <laughs> it's actually teal. Uh, I got some new color and it's a shampoo depositing, uh, shampoo conditioner. So it colors your hair while shampooing it. Um, it was really cool, but I had dyed my hand and Momo goes, uh, use some alcohol and it came right off. So, uh, I was, I like it. It's called punky color shampoo and conditioner um but uh welcome in angie adele debbie michelle j sally horner d ferguson alex uh mama gwen if you're still here thank you everybody it's okay adele i don't think there's a notification for the community tab but uh yeah, some sometimes on the main YouTube page when when you're just looking at uh, oh, I'm sorry, I scared you, Ganny Joe. I, that was not my intention. I just didn't want to, you know. I tried to uh, 
make the community tab post. I also posted a comment in the chat and also changed the title of the live so that people knew that I was canceling. Um, but welcome in Don Aaron, Kills Crochet, Angela Wright. You're working on the body of the spider. Awesome. Yeah, and if y'all are having any problems with the spider, just send me an email. I think, wasn't it you, Adele, that emailed me about the, the legs? I think if, if you're having trouble with it, maybe send me an email and I can help you figure out a different way to do something if you need to. Yes, I do. Uh, um, Dawn, I do. I don't have it on my phone, but I do have it on my laptop. I check uh, messages on my uh, laptop for Facebook Messenger. <clears throat> if you are a part of my Facebook group, uh, you can find my picture and just add me a friend request there, I think. Um, yes, Israel needs prayers too. I can't believe that's happening either. Welcome in, Great Granny C. Um, you know what? Send me an email and I'll send you a link to uh, my Facebook. I think that's the easiest way. I don't want to post it here in the chat. Hi, Tammy Twyford. Thank you for the hugs. I'm sitting here with it saying YouTube premium. and I'm <laughs> You're welcome, Don. She is good. I just made, uh, I, I said kind of what happened at the the beginning, but she's okay. Uh, they did admit her to the hospital. Um, she's been having abdominal pain uh, for the last week. Um, and she's she has problems already in that area, but I'm not going to go into big detail, but her blood work was fine. She had to go to St. Luke's yesterday morning because uh, it was really bad. And they did a, what is it, CAT scan. And they they didn't find much of anything there, but uh, they did not have an MRI machine. And the place she is at now has one. So they are planning on probably doing an MRI uh, tomorrow. Um, but her blood work and urine was fine. Um, so welcome in Suzanne and Carl Ann. Thank you, Granny C. You're going live on Friday, uh, Dawn. Welcome in Paula Mulford. Yeah, she's okay. I don't know if y'all can hear me, uh, but I know I just lost my camera. It's buffering. Okay, I'm back there. <laughs> At least it hasn't muted me yet. <laughs> can y'all hear me okay? Welcome in, Melanie J. Okay, good, I'm back. All right. Couldn't hear or see. Well, it hasn't muted me yet so welcome in Rennell. but yeah i just wanted to make an appearance here and let y'all know everything's all right uh took me an hour to get almost get home oh my god and on the way home i don't like going the highway uh so i went this two-lane back road that's a lot less traffic and i had a rock hit our windshield and it cracked it it's not very bad. It's just teeny tiny, but it scared the heck out of me big time. Oh, thank you, Dawn. That's sweet of you. You are a absolute sweetheart. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, welcome in, Vicky. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping nothing is too serious. She's had a lot of problems with her stomach in her life, so. Uh, it's kind of a given in her situation, even though I'm kind of being vague, but, um, yeah, it's, 
Hey, Thris. Welcome in. Yeah, uh, my my grandmother's in the hospital, but she's okay. Uh, we don't know much of anything except her blood is okay and the urine is okay. They're going to do probably an MRI tomorrow. Um, but she's about an hour away. So uh, I hate driving in, in on 45 traffic. It, it just... It, I don't like the highway, freeway, should I say. But she's okay, she's all right. Hopefully I'll have my Frankenstein buttons done. Awesome. Are you making them out of polymer clay or something? Yes, please pray tons. Uh, she had, uh, uh, called me at 11.30 and I had just got my hair fixed. It was gonna be so cute. I had I have redone my hair with a different color. It looks like a blue on this camera, but it's actually teal. I had them in pigtails. I had matching eyeshadow. I was ready to do my live. It was 30 minutes till noon and boom, she's like, let's take me to the hospital. I'm like, okay. So I made a community tab post, canceled everything and uh, we we took off. You have alien ones done. Oh, I bet those are cute. But you're out out of polymer clay. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, have a Hobby Lobby near you, they sometimes have polymer clay on discount. Uh, on clearance. Uh, earlier this year, I got a bunch on clearance. Oh, that's sweet of you, Alex. Thank you so much for uh, adding her to y'all's prayer list. Thank you, Ganey Joe. I almost missed it. <gasps> so, yeah, it, it's been a crazy two or three days. Uh, yesterday, I, I was running on, I think I went to bed at like 1.30 in the morning. Mama woke me up at 2, and then I took her to St. Luke's, and then I ended up coming back. I got here about 3.30 and slept till about 5.30, went to go get her, came back, and then we I woke up at like 8-something, took my aunt to the eye doctor, went to the grocery store, came home took a nap at 5.30, woke up at like 9, went to bed at 2. I am just like wore out. Not too tired, like sleepy, but just my body feels wore out. Plus driving an hour there and an hour back, scary for me because I don't like driving on the freeway at all. Welcome in, Tracy. Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. I make them all off, all out of polymer clay. Yep, was at Hobby Lobby and spent a hundred on the clearance for the polymer clay. Good job. That's awesome. Is your mom crystal not feeling? It's my grandmother, Alex. Thank you, Granny C. <gasps> <clears throat> my mom's okay. My mom Tammy's okay. Um but it's my grandmother, Patricia, Alex. I just listed you as Granny C, but I, I think I know who you are now. <laughs> I am behind on channel stuff. I can't believe it. Momo's okay. I've kind of given the update two or three times now. I'm not going to go over it, but um, Julie, if you want to watch the replay, it's not going to be very long. I'm I'm only probably going to stay on another two or three minutes, and then I'm ready to kind of relax and get me something to eat. Um, I just wanted to make an appearance, let everybody know what was going on, because I just kind of was got to take her to the hospital. I didn't go in into detail. Uh, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> I am behind on channel stuff. Aw, welcome uh, Melanie J to the Yarny Cat Club. Oh. 
I, uh, I, I don't, I, it's kind of hard to keep up with the gifted members now. I had 91 members the other day and it's kind of hard to keep track of who rolled off and uh everything um so i might have people that are not uh members now on in my description box on my little video i'm gonna try to sort everything out in the next couple of days so if you see that you're not a member and your name is still listed just that's why i i also have to write up all the entries from uh was it uh, Friday's live? I have them in my book, but I don't have the actual papers written up, but I have them all written down in my book. Um, so I am just behind on a lot of stuff. Sally Horner, thank you so much. I did actually add all the new members to um, the description box, but I haven't written up any of the, the entries on the paper. Uh, and I've it, I've at least caught up so far with the comments on the the October's video. I have almost all of them written down. All right, Sally Horner times three. Uh, Vicky Oodles. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> I see little hearts flying up. Thank you. Uh, welcome in, Yolanda. Hi, Sally Stevens. Thank you so much for uh, continued prayers for Patricia and our family. Welcome back, Paula. Yours just probably rolled off, yeah. I, I tried to sit down this morning after my first cup of coffee and I just, I could not figure out the way I wrote my members down when I, at, on the first, I wrote them in my book, who was still a member, it's all jumbled. It's not in order. So I was having trouble figuring out who rolled off and who's still a member. And I'm just like, I, I can't do it right now. My brain's not working right. Uh, yay, a month sending love and prayers for Grandma. Thank you so much for for that, Dawn. Uh, thank you for updating us. Thank you. I've been working on a secret project for Halloween that I'm going to be wearing on my Halloween Live on Tuesday the 31st. Um, and it's actually sitting over there. It's so cute, but I'm I'm... I have not worked on anything else, so I don't know if I'll have a Thursday video this week either, but uh, I, I haven't really done any crafting. I might have to quit working on that knit shawl. I was working on um, my right finger where I hold the tension for knitting has been twitching and I haven't knitted in a while. I think I've done some kind of nerve damage to my hand or something as much as I knitted on that thing. Love you too, Ganny Joe. That was you sending the hearts, Alex. Thank you, Tracy. Welcome in, Mateo. I, but I will definitely pray for your grandma at church. I have a lot of prayer warriors in my church. That's sweet of you. Thank you so much, Alex. Suzanne, a member for one month. Awesome. Thank you. Sending prayers and hugs. I appreciate it. Magnesium. Magnesium for what? Feeling run down? <laughs> I also have fibromyalgia and the condition that I have to take the Humira for also causes fatigue. So I get a double whammy sometimes of fatigue and sleep don't, uh, for those of you that have fatigue, y'all know that even when you sleep, fatigue does not go away. No, I do not. I, I don't think I do for the 31st. You're for your magnesium on your finger for fatigue? Is that what you mean? 
Why do you want to be a guest, Skinny Joe? You're more than welcome to come up if you want. I'm actually happy my uh, a Tuesday live is going to fall on Halloween. I won't have to, you know, do a special live for, for Halloween this year. Well, if you want to, you can. Uh, I take it every other week, Yolanda. It's for something else, though. It's only for like a couple of things, so I'm pretty sure it's neither of those, but it's one of them uh, that it's for. I think it's like for four different things. Um, I just don't feel comfortable talking about it. I mean, it's it's more common than I think, but I'm just not comfortable talking about it all. Some some of y'all may know. Uh, but yeah, I I have been on Humera since oh good gosh, March, I think. And I take it every other week. So once every two weeks. I actually get a shipment in for for it on the 18th. So I get I actually am getting it through my AbV, so I get the medication for free, which six six auto injectors are like seven thousand two hundred dollars, and I don't have insurance, but I get them free through the program. So that's actually a blessing there. You take Embril once a week. I'll have a mask on for sure. I'm gonna have I I don't know if I'll be able to get it right, but I'm gonna do face painting of some sort maybe if because i'm gonna try to practice um beforehand if not then i have a backup plan um of different eyeshadow and stuff like that last year i was elvira this year i i don't want to say what i'm gonna be but i think y'all might could guess it's one of the two animals i like <laughs> For four inject, oh my goodness, that is insane! For four injections over sixteen thousand, whoo! It's all good. It's part of your personal life, and you don't have to share anything you don't want to. Well, I mean, I don't like sharing it on here. Um, I'll talk about it on an email or something, but I don't. I don't like to talk about it on here. I've dealt with it probably 20 years before I actually found out really what it was. And I'm like, but it's nothing contagious. It's nothing that anybody can get. It's just, there's no cure and you can only manage it. So, uh, nope, not a chicken. <laughs> so that only leaves one more. <laughs> option for you to get this <coughs> but y'all won't actually know what i've been working on until you actually get to see it on the 31st so it's going to be a complete surprise until y'all see me on that day i have been working on it i think i'm almost done i got a couple of finishing touches and i'm i have i am just super excited i am hoping you know i can keep it a secret until then and not ruin it because i i so want to show it but i i haven't showed d i haven't showed melanie i haven't showed nobody except my family now because they see me working on it hubby is a vet and pays for it but he had to sacri sacrifice over 20 years in the military wow You're gonna paint your face, awesome. Are you doing a live also on uh, the 31st, Dawn? Because if, if you're not, then I'd invite you on mine too. I can have you and Ganey Joe up. Last year, I think I had Connie and, and Melanie. In Reese's Pieces, someone found worms. Oh, yuck, <laughs> that's terrible. 
I, I would love to have you. Yes. Um, and the way I do it is I send an email about maybe a night or two before the live. So send me an email, Dawn, and um, I can actually go ahead and send you the link for, for that day because I scheduled all my lives already. So, aw. Well, you're very, very welcome, Dawn. Is prednisone yeah prednisone's kind of rough on the body isn't it ain't it a steroid that'll be a plan i'll have um don and and uh Ganey joe on my live on halloween I can go ahead and put y'all's uh, names in and links in the on the live is what I was trying to think of. Yeah, prednisone is not fun. I'm already moody and grumpy most of the time. <laughs> y'all just don't see it that often. I try not to be rude or anything you know, on, on lives or on filming or anything like that. Cause I don't, I don't want y'all to see my, my mad side, but it is part of life, you know. Had a twitch in her lip and she took magnesium. Oh, okay. So I get it for the, the twitching. It don't happen too much, but like, I guess when I get relaxed and this yarn weight is, really thin but if if i remember correctly because it has been a few weeks since i actually worked on this thing um this shawl that i was working on i did all of that like in a week and a half i think and that's still a lot but it's a real thin yarn it's it says it's a one but to me it's more like a zero weight and i was having trouble keeping it on my fingers when i was doing the pearls and with the way i was having to do it it was like i don't know it just it messed with me a lot and then that's when i started taking a break on it and i started making the little bags uh on my sewing machine and and doing all that kind of stuff and then i noticed when i was working on the spider and the surprise uh for halloween i was noticing my hands were starting to hurt a little more and i do have arthritis in my lower back so i might have it in my hands too so i know it, it probably is there yeah magnesium is supposed to help restless leg syndrome but it doesn't help me much welcome in china the crochet queen All right, well, I've been live about 30 minutes and I was going to make it kind of short. So I was only going to be live about 15 minutes anyway. So I went live a little longer. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's been a day. I was just subscribed. 400 milligram magnesium due to all my muscle spasms. I will write that down for sure. I don't know if we have any magnesium around here, so I might have to get me some. But I take vitamin D, uh, 2000 IU a day. Um, and I take fish oil. Because I had read that, remember, I don't know, some of y'all might remember I was having the memory problems. I know some of that was from fibro, as y'all call it, fibro frog, um, fog, um, and the fatigue. I was having memory problems almost to the point where I thought I was having early onset dementia. 
I'd be talking to somebody and on, on the live, like saying something and then somebody new come in, I'd welcome them in and I'd forget what I was talking about that quick. Um, but I've been taking fish oil for several months and I think it's the lowest dose that's just over the counter fish oil. And it's actually helped quite a bit, which that's, I was so happy when it started working. I was like, yes. <laughs> But, uh, and then I've been taking the turmeric tincture from Holistic Patriots um, uh, to help with inflammation. Cause I know that some, uh, I've read somewhere that turmeric can help reduce inflammation in the body. So I've been taking that uh, 15 drops under the tongue and, or in like a little, shot of tomato juice to hide the taste or take a drink i have this cranberry juice cocktail i'll take a little drink of that put the drops under my tongue swish it around and i can't taste the turmeric taste at all it makes it manageable <laughs> um <clears throat> i take 5,000 milligrams vitamin d also me too ever since i had covid I, okay not not me not me <laughs> i was reading a comment i don't normally say that i don't have it <laughs> oh i hope they don't mark my video <laughs> um but i started taking it before the pandemic and i never got it so uh i heard vitamin d helps but i also don't take a lot of i don't take multivitamins or anything like that so probably should but I know with um, one of the medications it's a, a potassium sparing diuretic and I have to be careful careful of the potassium that I take uh, yep five five thousand d3 with zinc yep I don't think I can actually have zinc though Where's Chuck? He can help us on the magnesium. <laughs> he might have something with magnesium in it with all the, the tinctures and stuff he makes. <clears throat> Alrighty, everyone. Well, I am going to get off here, I believe. And thank you all for joining us or joining me. I, I, I guess I mean me and my animals behind me. <laughs> Don't know. I'm tired, not sleepy tired, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Angela. When all turmeric, it's in capsule form. I don't do the capsule. There is a funny story behind that. I took a capsule one time and it didn't dissolve in my stomach all the way. I burped and it puffed the turmeric into my esophagus. So I don't do capsules. That's why I thought the the turmeric tincture, you know, would be best. It's in liquid form. All right. Um, hugs and love to all of y'all. Uh, I will see y'all. I don't know about Thursday, but I do have to do a video for a company that contacted me uh, tomorrow. So I will have a short little video come out tomorrow and then I'll probably see y'all on my Friday live. Uh, if, if I don't have to go get my grandmother. So, uh, we were also supposed to have a garage sale this weekend. We had to move that to next weekend. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, much love to y'all. Have a good night, and I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.